Okay, I'm trying something. Somebody tell me if you can hear me. Uh, provided somebody is on right now. Just one second. Okay, so somebody can hear me. All right, so I don't know what on earth happened those times when I used my uh, shortcut for starting a stream, um, but it muted it at the same time. Like, there's no reason that it should have done that. <sighs> but it did. Anyway, so as long as everybody can hear me now. All right, so first thing is first. I just disconnected my computer's power source. Oh. Second things first. And of course, uh, first things first is not actually short for first thing is first. It, thing, things is plural. Anyway, but um, uh, Julia Wade happened to hop on uh, chat yesterday while I was streaming and mentioned that she thought that the lines were too long. I'm not sure if it's going to be... Uh, Hold on a sec. So for something like um, something like this, she said the lines were too long. Uh, she sent me an image of her handwriting, and I saw what she meant. So all of these things connect, but imagining for a moment that there was actually kerning. Um, this is what you get. Let's see, one, two. So imagine that these, uh, that there was kerning for this font and you had these two characters coming next to each other. They would probably be about that far apart following the logic of the font. That is, any time there's a space, there's 200 uh, vectros between elements. Um, but the idea is that when um, this occurs, you just connect these. So, it would look like that. And so the line wouldn't be as long. It would be as if there was standard kerning in between the two characters and then the dots just happen to be connected. Um, what that means is that this thing is going to be 600 total. So that is the dots are 200. Um, the space in between the dots is 200. 200 times 3 is 600. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and start modifying things. How long are these? These are 800. Should probably be a little shorter, but that's fine. Of course, those don't connect to anything. It doesn't matter. Oh, I can delete that now. It only matters for these. So, let's do some math here. If things are right next to each other, and they're 50 vectors past the point. That means uh, each of these things is um, 300, right? Or that is, it. this should be from 700 to 400, so minus 200. Uh, and I think that should be it, right? So 700, 200. No, right? That's how long it should be. Let's 
So let's just find one that this pairs up with. This one. 600, so this should this should be 900. And certainly not 1150. I don't know what I'm thinking there. Right? Okay, let's um on. Okay, good. Now this one is the opposite of that. Okay. So we need S followed by P. Well, that didn't work. Oh wait, did I determine that anytime you mess with the side bearings, it, you got to recompile? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so got to go do that to all the others. What was this minus, uh, was it four clicks? Uh, no, it's um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Yeah, I think so too. I kind of like the long thing, and the reason why is because of Arabic. Um, when you have that S there, um, it looks pretty cool. Okay, this one I uh, this one I'm going to need to figure out because this is actually the line light right here, 525. This part doesn't matter. Um, so 300 plus 525 is 825. So that's where this should be. There we go. Oh, and you know what? The, these are different. So let me, um, I believe, right? Good. Okay, now these are different. The program I'm using is called FontLab 6. Yeah, I, I cropped the screen in such a way so that you could see more of what was going on here. So you can't see uh, the top where it says that. But yeah, it's called FontLab 6. Also, it uh, was at 10.25. Good. Uh, 8.60. <laughs> That's funny. The other one was at 8.62. All right, whatever. And this one is at 10.25. Eight fifty. This one's going to need to move uh, to the right. Actually, that's all right. This will make it uniform. Um, Eleven fifty. Thirteen fifty. That one's already fixed. And that's it, so 600, 900.
This one thinks it should increase by a hundred. I'm not sure about that. Well, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Fifty thirteen fifty. Oh, I'll, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go do something for my cat. Give me just one minute. She's very finicky. Doesn't like when her litter box is dirty. I see you, kitty. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of it. All taken care of, kitty cat. What the heck? What the hell did I just... Stop that. Okay. Okay, back to this. What do I got here? 825. 10.25. 8.25. 825 no 10 sorry 1025 1150. Thirteen fifty, eleven fifty, thirteen fifty. Eight sixty two. Um, ten twenty five, and now we're to a different set. So I'm going to leave these. and change the side bearings. So do nothing, set equal to negative 50. Perfect. Now for these. Two, 
250. Uh, 250. These are all going to be 250, aren't they? Because we're working with the right side, uh, the left side bearing, as opposed to the right. So handy. Actually, this one's going to be what? 450. Right? 750? 450. Yeah. Looks small, but yeah, that's right. Same thing here. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Interesting. So, 75 this way. Right? Because 225 minus negative 125 is 350. Because that's what it should be. All right, good. Whatever. Is that at negative one twenty five? Could really go for dim sum right now. For some reason, I want to eat dim sum and the simple set of bonds. Oh, whoa. Interesting button. Nope. Come on. Okay, and that's a different set. No, it's just one of them. Oh, whatever. Here, I'll do this one. What are the side variants here? Yeah, right? Yeah, good. Okay, but then these are all final ones that we just were changing the left side of. So do nothing and set equal to negative 50. Good. Okay, that should be that for that. Some of these things are not going to work, but some of them will. And it's hard to keep track at this stage what will and what won't.
That's a bit better, right? Yeah. Less long, anyway. All right. I just had deja vu. Again, I swear I've had deja vu about this before, many years prior. Oh yeah, we're far beyond the rainbow since part one. Yeah, if you, if you actually sit and watch this whole thing, you can see exactly how this goes, which is when I start a new font, I forget everything I learned previously about creating a font and I slowly relearn it as I'm making the font. And then after it's done, I forget everything again. So what we're going to do right now, um, well, actually, let me, let me double check something of these. Why is that not uniform? Weird. You know what I mean? Make it uniform. Actually, good. And this one. Unless I want to do one fifty. No, let's do two hundred. Hey. What? Which movie? Yeah. Well, I didn't think it was so much a downer. Now I'm out of the watch. Yeah. Well, I don't want to ruin the final scene. No, oh. The end of the movie happens. It's like the yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't want to spoil it. Oh right. Yeah. Hmm. You're, they're saying that my microphone is getting muted every so often. I've changed literally nothing. <laughs> I have no idea. Kitty is sending out interference signals. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, though, I'm not doing anything. Just for people watching right now. I am not doing anything with this setup. At all. Like, nothing. I'm not even in my office with my fancy microphone. This is just a laptop. Yeah, he can't accidentally be pushing buttons unless you have, like, something hotkeyed where you're accidentally muting it, unmuting it just as you type. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. They're not saying that it's muted. It's They're saying it sounds muffled. Wouldn't that be awesome if there was a mute button and then also a muffle button? You could just press it. Yeah, just like... <laughs> 
if you could press it so that like i don't know if you're on the phone with somebody and you want to make it sound like you're going through a tunnel oh sorry it's just oh so much interference yeah, and if you double click it it creates static so you know you hit it once and it muffles it and you'd click it twice and it creates like a burst of static oh man you know so you can like play yourself out artfully this is these are million dollar ideas right here just giving them away for free <laughs> All right, you uh, yep. all right, love ya. Yeah. Okay, so that's done. What I do over here, this is probably, yeah, yeah, that's that's correct. Um, okay, <sighs> all right, so here comes, here comes the uncomfortable part, the difficult part. Just gonna, I'm just gonna get right to it because I think I can solve this problem. But, I mean, you know, it's it's a tough problem. So here's the thing. Let me let me illustrate what the problem is. All right. So you have these alternate forms, right? This is the standard form, where basically it connects on the left and the right to the midline. Whether it has to curve to do that or not, it's always coming down to the midline. The exception is when you basically get two dots next to each other on the left and right side on the same level. So whether that's the top or the bottom. Because of that, uh, when that happens, you get these straight lines that connect those two dots. So an example, um, I'll show you right here. Is, is the name of the language itself, Varen. Um, so you get this straight line here. This is what that would look like without ligatures. Uh, and again, there's no kerning for this. See, so there's two dots next to each other. So the idea is rather than having, um, so that's Varen, let me put something next to it that doesn't connect. Um, yeah, that's fine. So you see what happens. Uh, so for this one, it there it's the midpoint. So it just swoops down like that to the midpoint. With this one, since there's a dot up here, it just connects via a straight line. Anyway, so that's what this font does, or this writing system does. Now the issue is this. On your, uh, you have these forms that where it could be straight on the left and curved on the right, or curved on the left and straight on the right, or both curved, both straight. So let's say that you have um, character A, which says the next thing should connect straight on the top. And so character B is going to want to connect straight on the top. Then you have character C that says character B should connect straight on the bottom. The question is which one wins? Uh, because right now, it'll be whichever one comes first. So A is going to change B to B prime. C is going to want to change B to B double prime. But it's not going to be able to change B prime to B double prime because it's not looking for B prime. It's looking for B. But B has already been changed. All right? So we're going to try to fix that. The funny thing is, if P didn't exist, there would be no problems. Because P is the only character that has a dot on the lower left side. Uh, I don't know why that it turned out that way. But it's the only one. Look at that. So there's the, you see these dots. So you get all, all four of these. You get all four of those shapes. Um, and then this is uh, middle. But then this thing, when there's one dot below a circle, it only connects on the right, to the thing to the right of it. It never connects to the thing to the left of it. Same thing with these, two dots. The lower one only connects to the right, and the top one only connects to the left. And these, you got them both. When they're both there, 
the top one connects to the left and the bottom one connects to the right and that's it so this one uh, always its lower dot is always just sitting there uh, it never connects this is the only character that has a dot that connects on the lower left and it just throws the entire system into chaos Yeah, so that's that's what essentially we're going to have to figure out right now. Because some of these are poorly named. Now with the um, with this system, which is a very simple system, uh, you have to have exactly the same number of things on the one and the other. So like P regular and P alt, or low dot regular and low dot alt. They have to have exactly the same number of characters in those classes so like low left alt uh, and low left they have to have exactly the same number of characters in each class and each one has to be its exact alternate in order otherwise this replacement will not work and you will have to specify it individually the way I did for all these characters up there um, I like doing this because it's simpler and it worked better so the question is, um, let's start with uh, wh which are the ones that have multi-shapes? Uh, purple, red, brown, um, is that it? Okay, so it's just purple, red, and brown. So we got K, G, A, B, P, F, V, T, D. Uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine characters that have the double, the double forms. Let's start with one that has the same. Let's do V. I want to try V. V could have four forms. This is its basic. And it's already, have I already got that and that, or just one of them? Okay, there's the V alt initial, that's fine. It's the medial forms that, that, that matter. Okay, there's there's so there's straight on the left V alt. Where's straight on the right V alt? I don't think we have it. It was going to be here. It was going to be here, but it didn't work because this, because uh, I tried to write it and this had the same name. So these need to be different. These need to have different names. Not that. Not the initials. Only the medials. We're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to try this first. Only the medials are the ones that need different names because they're the only ones that could give you uh, three different things. Well, the thing is, I say P is the only issue, but the truth is that P is not the only issue. Uh, there are four potential connections, right? Um, there are four potential connections. Uh, upper left, lower left, upper right, lower right. Um, P is the only one that has lower left as a connection. But all three of the other connections are in play. So it's double on the top. That's why V is special as well. V is the one that connects on the, on the top. So I'm going to go back to what's what's the last thing I tried to do? High left alt. Why didn't this work?
Wait, actually, did I screw up the naming of these? Because isn't that the high left alt? And that's in high right alt. Wait, I, I, I confused myself. It's one of those issues. Okay. High right alt is when the character in question needs to connect on its high right to the following thing, which means high left alt is when the character in question needs to connect to something on the left. God damn it, I'm getting confused. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is wrong, isn't it? Or does this say this? It does say the same thing. No, this is correct. That's that's supposed to be doing that. Because these are the same. Can I ask you a favor? If you're if, if you're sure. if you're going out to the tiny room again, can you get my um my 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 writing book and that blue pen that's out there? Sure, they're there. They're there. They're in that little basket. You hear that cat meowing? The the Mickey one. Oh, this this reminds me. Um Thank you. Um, What's up? Do we have clients for tonight? So, John and them, <laughs> John and them want to go out to what's it for Jake's birthday? Boomers. Ah, uh, okay. Because Meridian asked me last night. The last thing she asked before she snuggled down and went to sleep without fighting me for once was, "Can we have fun tomorrow?" Oh. In this broken little voice. No, sorry. Fun again tomorrow. So, she so, liked last night. She wanted more. What did we do last night? You guys did nothing. Yeah, Charlie we did King nothing. Came over. Um, you know, she might like going to Boomers if we didn't go too late. We could take her home. Jake's birthday doesn't seem like a three-year-old friendly event. Jake's a married man. He doesn't do anything fun anymore. <laughs> That's not true. He never did anything fun. This is Jake. <clears throat> All right, but yeah, she she was really working it too. Just can we have fun again tomorrow? <laughs> Trembling voice, sad face. So I told her that of course we were gonna have fun. She said, "What? Like, well, you'll just have to wait and see." <laughs> Parents speak for I got nothing. Yeah. Huh. This is going to run into a chaining problem. I just know it is. 
you can't rewrite the same lines of code after previous ones, can you? Um, All I can foresee is that this is just going to get destroyed by when I actually produce the font and put it in a word processor. It's going to be like, uh, no, can't do any of that. Okay, what does V look like? So we got, it's got the, is that, V is just line dot, right? Yeah. So. That's initial. Of course, we got the standalone form, which will now never be used. It's the. I mean, don't don't tell Juliet, but yeah, the standalone forms no longer have any place in this language if there aren't. Um, words that are a single letter long. Um, that's fine. Okay, so it's initial, uh, standalone, medial, as this, this, um, this, and this final is this and that. Uh, what time is it? 3.20 p.m. I need, um, uh, I need a couple of test letters here. Uh, I and then uh, S. Wait a minute. No, I don't need S. I need I need something that's high on the left. D. Something that I'll be able to recognize. K. Sorry. All right. So I and IVK should be what I'm working with here. Okay, this is a great example. So, so, so watch this. Um, here's IV. Here's VK. Here's I, here's IVK. So you can see which one won, right? It's supposed to be flat on the left 
and the right side. Here it is flat on the left. Here it is flat on the right. You type all three in a row and the left side wins. So what that tells me is that I should be able to take whatever class V alt medial is in and replace it with something else when it's followed by something in K's class. I'm not sure if it makes sense to do this case by case or to do it by class. So we're talking because it's only the medial forms that matter. This one. Let, let me just, okay. Well, actually, it would be any one that has a high right connection. And I think that happens to only be V. That's why it's in brown. Yes. OK, so it's only V. It doesn't make sense to do in class. All right, so here we go. Here we go. This should work. Substitute uh, V alt medial varin before either of, is it, um, is it high right? Where's K? High left. And we just need a new one. V, I don't know. I'm going to call it prime. V prime varn because it sounds kick ass. And don't worry about those. We'll get back to those like someday. Uh, let's see, what, what color am I going to give these? Orange. I haven't done orange yet. Okay. Of course, now I'm going to immediately change it, but. All right, and this thing is uh, thousand, and side bearings are negative fifty. It's a medial form. Save, boop, and. Let's go see if it worked. Okay, IV, oh, features, good. VK, good. I, V, K. Ah, oh, <laughs> you bastard. Ah, uh, it didn't work. That's fine. We'll just do this. This shouldn't make any sense, but we're going to do it anyway. say either of those. C 
see if you like that better. IV, VK, IV. God damn it. What, is, what does that say? Yeah. V alt mean R M. Just checking, but K is here, right? K alt final varin, K alt medial varin. Both of them are there. This should work. This should work. No reason why this shouldn't work. I'm just gonna throw some extra junk in here. See what see what happens. See what happens if I specify more context. They should be in the same class, right? They both have a high left, right? Uh, what kind of two separate rules? Does not work. You know, it's the thing is, I can, I know I can order this differently. I know I can order this differently and get it to work. I'm just afraid of doing that. That is, I could get rid of this and specify the context strongly and do that first. I'm pretty sure that's going to work. I 
it's good that you see the faces. That means you know they exist. I'm going to try this. I don't like doing things with ordering because um, I'm afraid that if I if it works with ordering, it's going to screw something else up. But here we go. <laughs> Sorry. That's a pretty good question. I don't know. Um, I haven't thought about uh, the Jogos Nahai and their relationship to the Dothraki. It certainly does seem like they are connected, but my guess would be uh, that there was a language that came before Protoplanes that was the ans uh, that was the ancestor of Protoplanes and the Proto language, the Jogos Nahai. That would be my guess. Oh, that still doesn't work? You're going to tell me that still doesn't work? Wow. Unbelievable. What's the thing that this starts off as? I think it's V Phi, right? Oh, no. <laughs> Do you see what happened? It worked. It worked, but <laughs> but now this didn't give the context to the K, so the K didn't change. You see, this is why the ordering always messes with you. All right, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go back to the original ordering, and I'm going to put in V Phi. All right. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, okay. I know what I need to do. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, this could get really out of hand really quickly. Um, so actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to say this is probably what worked. I will test it really quick. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what worked. Because that's like the first thing it goes to. Oh wow, that didn't work. How oh, interesting. I wonder what worked. I guess it was the medial one. All right, whatever. I can I can I can work with that. I thought it was the I thought it was the phi that did it. Cuz I thought I tried that and it didn't work. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Okay, okay, it's the medial that worked. All right, all right. Where does the word Jogos Nahai come from? George R. R. Martin. <laughs> we haven't gone further than that. 
Um, so now we need to add v prime var n. Wait. To this. I'm not adding it to high right or high right alt. The reason is that these two classes have to have exactly the same number of characters. So I'm just throwing it in by itself as context for changing high left to high left alt. Why wouldn't I need to put it on the other side? Because it's both. I think I will, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, they don't write zebras, they write zorses. <laughs> And yeah, they, they, they do share a common ancestor with the Dothraki. The only question is how far it goes back. Good. Good. Ha! <laughs> there it is. So. V is fixed. Now the question is about P. It always comes out in the end somehow. All right. So to test P, we need something that's low initial, which is S, and something that's low final, which I guess is P. That's the only thing. So S, P, P. Uh, that'll be the next thing I test. Then we'll go to the top where there's a lot more characters, or the, the mixed where there's a lot more characters, I should say. OK, SP is, oh, I, need, I think I need to change the spacing on the final forms, by which I mean I absolutely do need to change the spacing on the final forms. Whoops, OK, but whatever. That works for right now, because P ordinarily looks like that. SP is working. PP is not working yet. It's giving us the right form on the right, but not the right form on the left. And the thing we need is SPP, and we're preventing that. OK. So why is P not giving us the right form on the right? Because it's right here, that's why. Isn't it? P alt initial. Let's let's go ahead and plunk this down right here. This will be easy. There, done. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many total it has. How many does that look like? Wait, let's see. Does that give me a number? Looks like 184 so far. Though admittedly, some of these forms are identical. Um, 
Uh, are they? Oh, maybe not totally identical, but anyway, you get the idea. Where are the alternate final forms? I kind of want to fix that. So that is a P medial. Right. That should be correct. Where's P alt final? Where's P alt final? Oh. Oh, shit. How many more did I do that on? Okay, okay, okay. All right. So that to that. That was just a, a little mistake. Okay, crisis averted. Okay, back to this. Oh, right, because I messed with side bearings. Oh, wait, you're asking, you asking me that question? Um, honestly, I don't care. Uh, I don't know. Um, I never much cared about the sounds of it, just as long as it didn't sound... Oh, ridiculous. So as long as the phonologies make sense and are well balanced. Um, I just don't care. Uh, good. Oops. Okay. So. We're not getting honestly the the thing that you know I when I look at a lot of conlangs like on places like Reddit or the conlang workshop, first thing I see is like you know. Here's my phonology, and either I see a romanization system, that's dumb, or I see like literally a million sounds. And I was like, well, this it's just like just at a glance, I was like, okay, pass. <laughs> now why is this 
hands with this one. Low left. Do I have low left? I do. Yeah, like, see, this exact conversation that's going on right now, that's what, that's what tends to make me pass on looking at a con. <laughs> what is this? Oh, dot. It's not that. Wait, it's only P. So I should just be able to What are you doing over there, kitty cat? You can come up here and snuggle with me. I don't mind. Hopefully that should be uncontroversial. Let's see. Nope. Or no, wait, yes, that did work. And now I need to change. Um. This. this or this. Oh, my wife is watching Stargate. That that warms my heart. It makes her happy.
and p prime is is this I should make, you know what I should do is I should make hotkeys for switching between those. Good. Bad. Double bad. Why isn't this working? I specifically told you to do this. I said change that to that before this. And you did not do it. That is literally all of them. How dare you defy me? This is simple. This is just one character. Why isn't this working? I said after P prime, change P regular to P alt. Oh, I'm sorry, this one is working. I was looking at the wrong one. This, this isn't working, this isn't working. Yes, this isn't working, because this is an alt now. I'm sorry. It's dumb. P alt in varin. Yeah, there we go. So these two work now. Works. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, no, it was the dots. They are different. The dots, the dots. Oh, phew. okay. Okay, so this works. SP works. PP works. 
SPP does not work. Why? Uh, which one are you talking about? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't write pre-prime in. I, I just created it as context. And it doesn't exist yet. Because nothing creates it. Right. My bad. My bad. Okay. So, what we need to do now is, in the context of low right p varin no wait p alt varin p prime varin change p medial varin well, p medial varin or p alt medial varin to um, p prime varin. Correct? Incorrect. Because that's not actually what matters. It, it needs to be before um, the, the p as well. Um, sh shit, uh, shit. Wait, I have to do, I have to do other things too. I have to change the alt, I'm um, the final form too. Okay, okay. shit, 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 shit. What, what is, okay, wait. Final and medial. Okay, no, I can't do that. When it comes, okay, right? And before, like, any P. So before P prime, Lauren, P alt, Medial varin, the alt final varin. Let's just throw in some more here just to make sure we cover all our bases. Ha! That'll be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Tone to future tone to Throcky.
should check my email real quick. It's Friday. Ooh, cool. I'm going to have some news to announce. <laughs> not uh, not soon, but soonish. And not, not me news, but good news for everybody else. Okay. Is this going to be one of those things where I have to put it first? Before this? Very rare. Let's try this. But if I put that first, if I put that rule first, P alt won't exist yet, right? So this won't do anything. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Put it right after. No. Uh, but, but yeah, for for news on this, look for look for news coming later, later this summer. Um, uh, Paul Fromer, who created NotV, is a very good friend of mine. Uh, now, we've. Uh, We've, we've hung out quite a bit over the past few years. Never actually um, 
I've never actually studied Monopoly, so I don't really know as much about it. Okay, let me just make let me just make sure that this isn't an artifact of other things. All right, let's do this logically. S, okay, here's S. There's P. Oh, that's weird. Oh, because it's final. Does, does S do that? Why does it do that? That's weird. Why does S do that? I feel like it shouldn't, but whatever. Okay, it does, it does, it does. All right, the presence of S changes this P into that P. Now that is a medial form. That is P alt medial, correct? Is that P alt medial? Uh, it's not related to English and nobody cares what you think. All right, um, let's see. P alt medial varin. Now where's the other one? Where's Where's the one that curves in and goes flat out? Okay, um, I don't think that form exists. The one that curves in and goes flat out. That could be part of the problem. What is all this? Okay, no, that's not. Where's my, where's my pen? Okay, hold on. Um, initial. Okay. Initial variant. Um, 
standalone form. This looks like this. All right, all together, there should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine P characters. Let's count them up. What are those guys doing there? One. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and indeed we are missing, we are missing some. What are these doing here? By the way, uh, this, this Augie person, um, you know that I can actually just like remove you, right? So I, I mean, I'm fine with having you here just be normal, but uh, you know, like I don't care enough about you not to ban you permanently. What the heck happened to my... Why are those there? Why did it do this all of a sudden? Uh, 
Oh, that's weird. There we go. Sorry, that was just distracting me. Okay, so there is no alt version that curves in and is flat out. I think that's what these were going to be, weren't they? I think they were. Crap. No, this is, um, I didn't skip a step. This is where I left off last time. The problem is I, I wanted to create a switch between these low left and low left alt. But when I went to produce uh, the characters, it didn't produce the total number of characters. It did that because a lot of these had the exact same name. They had the same name as other ones because they already had alt medial forms. These are, but they all, all of these should have two separate alt medial forms. Um, all the purple, red, and brown have two alt medial forms. So we need to create those with new names. What I need to do is see how many of these I need. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I need to see if that matches with how many are here. Oh, wait, there they are. Fourteen. That's not good. Why are there 14? Now I'm really confused. Shit. If you want to respond to that, you could say, Anhadothrakchik, if you're doing all right. Fourteen. 
Did I just miss one? A, B, C, D, double E, F, G, K, P, S, S, T, W. Is that a Y or a V? It's like a Y. Which one didn't I say? God damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's why I didn't do the V. Hang on. One, two, three, four. We're missing one. We're missing curved in flat out. All right, I'm getting too confused. So I'm going to, I know that K, G, A, B, P, F, T, D, V all need prime forms. So I'm just gonna create those. You've already got V and P. I'm actually just gonna make a group, call them prime. It's regular A, right? Yeah, regular A.
uh, uh, please feel free to write in um, a solution. Uh, Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hang on to that idea for a moment. Let me finish what I'm doing so I just remember. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What I missed B. Uh, all right. Ah. Why every time? No, Valerian doesn't have an alphabet. That's just from the books. So, you always stick with what's in the books. Um, now, let me look at this real quick. And the thing is, P prime shouldn't be in the high right class because it doesn't have um, it doesn't have a high connection. It only has low connection. I mean, they, it might you know be you know it might function just because they're classes, but I try to keep the classes arranged by something so I know what to do with them. Anyway. Let's get to this. So these are all the, the flat on both sides ones. Excuse me.
Okay, uh, let me just create these for a moment because I can make sense of that. Right, that's where that was. Yeah. Seven hundred. What does it matter if the writing system is Indo-European or not? It's ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't make the writing system look like some Indo-European writing system. That would be silly. Uh, Oh, that's not right. Oh, shit. I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, damn it. I have no idea. I was just repeating you. I was thinking more Hittite because of its Indo-Europeanness. What's Indo-European about its writing system? You tell me. <laughs> what is this guy? Okay, two fifty. Well, that's probably right, though. Yeah. Uh, I gotta do that. Oh, that's why. Oh, I'll come back. I'll come back to that. What does that have to do with the writing system? Why would you make a a, a writing system for a language more like some other language because the language was Indo-European? What does that have to do with the writing system? Nothing. Tells me that doesn't line up exactly. Uh, 
Okay, that's done. Now these. Not the Mayan. Okay, those are done. Hmm. I guess I might as well do these now. I don't know why they weren't done before. Oh, wait, A alt. Good.
I'm ignoring stuff I have to do because it's hard and just doing stuff that's easy that eventually needs to be done. Well, sometimes that helps. Yeah. You know, win in one column, even if it's not as important to win as some of the other stuff. Yeah. If I have the wherewithal, I like to do things like give myself a timer, say, okay, I'll do things that feel productive for an hour or I'll do two of those tasks and then I'll work on one of the things that are more pressing but less. Yeah. All right, I take it you're not recording anymore. Oh no, I am recording. Oh, hi people. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. We'll be done soon. Those are all done. Okay. Now, what's up? I'm going to come home. I'm going to make some dinner for her and you, for all three of us, or for me. Oh, I don't know. Why not all three? Because I didn't know if you were going out. Oh, yeah. I don't know when that's happening. Okay. I'm hoping I can get out of there. You hear that, Jake? I'm trying to skip your birthday party. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Oh. Ah. Hey, Juliet. Hey, Aaron, Juliet's on now. You want to say hi? Aaron's going to pick up Meridian. All right, so I didn't create the these forms curved in flat out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is Kluge. I know it's Kluge, but I'm just going to create a new class for these, these curved in flat out forms. I think it's going to be simpler for me. Basically the same as the prime forms. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a prime class. <laughs> and we'll just call it 
curved in, flat out. And we'll change prime, CIFO, place all, done. This is extremely kludgy. I I know that. You have class on a Saturday? Oops. So I think what I'm going to have time to do before I go is create these and then I got to put these in a separate color so I remember. Let's do that. And then the last thing that I'm going to need to do with this font is making sure that these show up correctly and that they don't break anything that already works. All right, so these are curved in, flat out. And actually the curves are easier to add, so I'm just gonna do these. I'm just going to paste the primes over, give them a different color, and A, B, D, F, G, K. Are you currently living in Italy, Sam, but not able to speak Italian? It seems like a disadvantage. Don't worry, that'll be fixed. What the hell is this? Oh, right, it's P. <laughs> of course. We'll do that one later. And then this one, where is that one supposed to meet? Yeah, I don't. Uh, that's because it was before I started doing that. Um, the the low right alt class. I started doing something different, or, or I started doing it after that. Okay, where does this thing meet up?
Oh wait, but that doesn't work unless. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I just got to match up those things. That's that's what I need to do. Uh, what's that? Three seventy-five. There we go. That should work. There we go. And last P. Two hundred. All right. You want to say hi to Juliet? Tell you if she says hi. Oh, wow, well, I have to go, but I saw a favorite daughter, so you know. Okay. Ah, ah, look at that. There. Okay, those are done. Okay, she said hi. These are all medial forms, so all of them have that. Okay, so all of the characters are done, except for the numbers, which we'll do last, but um, all the characters of this system are done. The only thing is we need to write code to make sure that these characters appear, because right now they don't. And that will be difficult. Wait, what the hell is this? I did the wrong thing. Um... Yeah, that's what that was supposed to be. It was this one. My bad. There we go. Now they're all done. Fixed. Uh, you know they're not they're not particularly special. CIFO stands for curved in flat out, uh, and they're not special. They're like they're not they shouldn't require their own class to be honest. But you know I just did it. It's when there's a regular consonant on the left and a low flat uh, and some sort of flat consonant on the right. I guess this one's high. All these are low. So the only, we've established that the only low left one is P. So these and these only appear before P, right? Well, okay. where's V alt initial? Does this one, we already fixed this one, right? Because that's the only high one. 
V is the only high one for all of these characters. The rest are just there because of P. So maybe so that I remember this. Let me put P in purple or V in purple so I know that it's funky. These should be the easiest, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. We've already fixed V, right? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I know this. Because V is, is V for Varin. Yeah. We've already fixed V. V is fine. So it's just the others. So let's do these first because they're initial. Those will be easy. Those are T all uh, initial. So all we have to do, and this should be, I can put this right at the end. Um, I don't think this belong to a class, do they? This this will be shorter code if I can make a class out of them. You can have dual membership in classes, I think. Let's see. All these. Um, is it, did you say it was low right alt I didn't have? Should that be low left? Now this is confusing. I'm going to create new classes. Oh yeah, this this code is is terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, it's it's really inexcusable, but it's gonna work. Darn it! Wait a minute. Oh shoot! Sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. That was actually the correct one. Um, the other one needs to be fixed. Whoop. Because those already have all the alt forms. These are, these basically need to get rid of alt. Uh, theoretically, yes, uh, except then how do you count for the overlaps? Uh, 
and um, I guess it's all the P's, right? Is that, is that the name? Ooh, it doesn't like that. What I do wrong? Oh, <laughs> that's what I did wrong. Okay. Um, Shin, if you are interested, as long as I can confirm this code works, I'm happy to just like copy it and paste it and send it to you, see if you can shorten it up. The only thing is, um, this program, I tell you, it's a little finicky. So, um, so it's, you know, you may do something that may work on a regular computer or whatever, and it might not work on this. Okay, let's um, let's see if that worked. What this should do is uh, basically AP should now work. Okay, so here's AP normal, and it does not work. Or wait, well this works. This doesn't work, right? Because we haven't done that yet. That should be um, what's that one? That's flat in curved out. Um, this. Oh, but because that new stuff isn't in the code. That should be in low right. Low right doesn't get replaced by anything, right? That is, if there's no low right alt, there isn't. I can just dump these in here. I should fix that. It did, kinda. Why did it do that? Why is there a space? Is this a Kerning thing? I thought I fixed the kerning. There we go. That was a, a kerning thing or a space thing. Now this one. Yeah, that looks right. This one right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's funny that these didn't get, all right. So then these are good. Now these medial ones and then these, what are these? these? These are just two different sets of medial ones. That's the last thing I have to do. I don't mean like paste it into the chat. 
because I don't even think I keep a it keeps a record of the chat. Just um, do it over email. And I mean, like, just email me, and I will email you this code in a in a text file. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna straight up create more classes here because I can. Or wait, did I already create CIFO? I did. I've got CIFO. Except CIFO has V in it. Oh, shoot. That's going to screw everything up. Hmm. Have I used Prime yet? Anywhere? I haven't. I'm going to banish. I'm going to banish V from the Prime group and the CIFO group. It's the anti sifo group. Uh, I'm watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the good place right now. I think those are the only shows I'm watching right now I enjoy. Hilda on Netflix is good. Been wanting to watch Russian Doll. All right.
wonder if that'll just work. L, F. Well, that's disturbing, isn't it? That works. That doesn't. Boy, oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. I'm 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 testing the wrong thing. Um I need L no, no, that that was the right thing. As I'm testing the I'm testing the F L F P. All right, yeah, I'm testing the F, and that works. Yeah. The rest of the stuff doesn't necessarily work, but that's all right. Okay, that's good enough for right now. Um, I will see if I can fix the rest of these problems later. Everyone, have a nice evening and a nice weekend. And I will see you again sometime.